Hi, hello everybody. Uh, I finally got the camera out, um, so we're going to give you a little tour around the van. Um, it's all open up at the moment, but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm usually on the other side of the camera, not on this side, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we go with it. Alright, this is the inside of the van, um, back door open, just a bit of carpet down at the moment. Uh, plenty of room, full headroom, so I can stand up in it quite easily. All windows round, as this used to be obviously a bus. Um, the piece of wood that you can see across, laying across the side of the van there is where the bed's going. So that will be a uh, pull out, it'll be a lounge during the day, and then it will be pull out into a bed at night. So it will stretch across to a, or just over halfway across the van. But it will be raised up to the same level as this centre section here. So because underneath that carpet that where the back of the seat is, is access to the engine. So I can't build anything over the top of that. So what I'd like to do is build something flat with that top piece. So that piece there has got to go up maybe another 10 inches. And then I'll build one of those slide out platforms. Here's Jack. Jack's just got in to make sure everything's alright. Uh, and it will stretch down to where that joint is on the window. So just in front of the wheel arch there. And we'll slide out, like I said, to about halfway. My intention is to build the kitchen down the side of the van here. But I'll take you around the other side so you can have a look at that. So my plan here, um, just behind, just where the little railing is, where the door is, as the door slides open, um, will be the fridge. So there'll be a, um, a top-down fridge, just like a um, esky type fridge. And it will be built up to just above the level of the window, which will be a little bit awkward because it will allow you, um, things to drop down between that. So I'm going to have to work something out to stop stuff from um, falling down behind that. But it will come down to around about where the black trim finishes in the back here. So there will be a fridge at the, at the beginning, a sink and then a gas cooker worktop bench on the top of that with storage underneath. I'm also hoping to get, uh, in the extra height ceiling that I have here, uh, overhead cupboards. But that depends on how much room I end up with because I'm thinking of putting cupboards along this side too. Because I'll be walking mainly up and down the left hand side, or from here, the left hand side of the van, most of the time because it'll be galley um, down through the centre with bed and storage on this side. So we'll work that out as we go anyway. Okay, I'll take you around the outside. As you can see, I've already splashed a, a little bit of paint on, which was a little bit premature, because I don't want to do too much to this until um, we get the registration sorted out. All right, opening the passenger side door. You can see the interior is in reasonable condition. Uh, Five-speed manual. It's a three-liter diesel or 2.98 something diesel. Centre section here will be taken at this piece. Will be maybe taken at or maybe a padded um, bed here for Jack to sit on as we're driving. So he'll have his little harness on with a seatbelt on the back to sit on there because he likes to uh, be able to see out of the window. I have to change these manual windows too to um, to automatic. Um, so I thought that I can operate them from the driver's side because otherwise Jack will be uh, wanting the window up and down every 10 minutes which will be awkward from my side um, as you can see this side of the van is in reasonable good condition you can do if it shows up on the camera but it used to have the Great Southern Grammar School written along the side here so I'm actually sanding that back a bit and I'll fill it and then I'll respray like I've done on the other side and it's back to the back of the van and that's, oh, about that's about it. it. Um, like I say, I'm going to um, hopefully start on it today or maybe tomorrow. It all depends on the weather, what the weather's doing tomorrow and the next day. But uh, hopefully we'll get started soon. All right, I'll put this up and catch up with you later. Hi everybody, Jack and Steve here. We'd just like to thank you all for watching. And um, just remember, please subscribe and we'll, you'll get messages when the next video's got. And I'm right. <laughs>